Playa Tortugas, where we're going to be catching our ferry over to Isla Mujeres. We're staying there for four nights. We're super excited. Ultramar Ferry, which is where we booked our tickets. We paid about 540 pesos, which is somewhere around $25 for the round trip ticket. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this blue, blue water as we inch toward Isla Mujeres. Ultramar. We just arrived to our favorite island, Isla Mujeres. Our plan is to go grab a quick bite to eat and go grab a golf cart as we were staying on the southern side of the island. Uh, super excited to stay there, a new place, actually two new hotels on this trip. fantastic meal over at Tacos de Humo. It's one of our favorite spots here on Isla Mujeres. Now we're walking down to go grab a golf cart. Our golf cart place of choice is called Pepe's Rentals. And the last time we rented there, they had a fast golf cart. So we're hoping for the same thing again this time. Pepe's Rentals. All right, so we just got our golf cart. It is about 5 p.m. here on Isla Mujeres. We're gonna make our way over to our hotel, drop off our luggage, and then find some other cool places on the island. in here. We got some water for us, which is great. Very large shower. And then, of course, I got a TV here. Finally made it to a place, uh, Coco Jaguar. Looks like the portions are very big, and they accept dogs and credit cards. We're gonna have to run by the ATM tomorrow to get more pesos. Amazing meal over at Coco Jaguar. We had a great first day here. We arrived a little late, so I guarantee you tomorrow is gonna to be a lot more happening. I'm gonna show you around this island much more and I'm gonna to go to some amazing spots. Stop by the Chedraui here to get um, cash. They, the cash machine only dispenses US dollars, so if you're coming to Isla Mujeres, you're on the south side of the island, looking for some cash, you can go to Chedraui. 
All right, now that I got some cash, we're heading over to Mango Cafe, which is one of my favorite places here on Isla Mujeres. We've been coming here for the past 10 years, and this is a definite must stop every time we're on the island. They're open for breakfast and lunch only. And again, it's cash only, so definitely bring your pesos. Get the best food on the island. They have some really awesome coffee here from Chiapas. There's hints of cinnamon in it. It's delicious. Wow. Oh my goodness. And while the coffee's delicious, the mango margaritas are even better. It's about that time. Coco approved. Yes, Coco approved. Hands down, the best food on the island. In fact, Mango Cafe has about five stars from about 5,000 reviews. So definitely, it's a must visit. It got good reviews for a reason. And right across from the Mango Cafe is this beautiful church, which we're gonna go take a look at real quick. The view from in front of the church here. All right, so our next stop, we're gonna head about five minutes from here. We're gonna head off to a place called Garafon. It's a great place to snorkel, and we're gonna show you what that looks like in a few minutes. Just arriving at Garafon de Castilla. You could already see the blue water at the us. Some guys were coming up, they said the sea is a little too rough to snorkel today. It is extremely windy out, but this is a cool little beach bar. And again, it's about nine US dollars to spend the day here. It's for admission. I don't know if that includes the cost of any drinks or anything. But again, here goes the beach club down here. This is pretty cool. Really nice, actually. Yeah, definitely rough ocean today, my goodness. Well, it's all good. Isla Mujeres, the best place to be in the world. One of my favorite places in the world. So right now we're gonna go revisit a spot we went to last night, but we didn't have pesos, but now we do. We're heading off to the joint, which is right across the street for some nice cold beverages. This is cool. Great place. Yeah, this is great vibes for sure. And cold beers. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, guys. Place looks nice and busy. It looks like it's called Marabella Beach Club here. A lot of golf carts. It's a beautiful day here on Isla Mujeres, nice and hot. And it looks like there's a parking space right up front for us. Perfecto. Hey everyone, real quick. I wanted to tell you about my new company, Noni Soul Organics, specifically our soothing after sun lotion which harnesses the power of ancient Polynesian miracle fruit, Noni. I wish I had this product 10 years ago. Check out the link in the description. We had an awesome time at Marabella. Grabbed a few really cool, delicious drinks. And now we're here at the beach club next door. I'm not too sure what this one's called. I'll put it on the screen below. Very nice here. Looks like they got a DJ, they got some hammocks. Man, 
it's definitely a windy day here in Isla Mujeres. Windy, windy. That's why you're not gonna see many drone shots in this video. We're gonna be going to Playa Norte in a couple days, which is one of the most famous beaches here in Mexico. And we're gonna have an absolute blast on the rest of our time here in Isla Mujeres. We're turning into Hotel La Jolla. We're gonna see what's going on down here. I heard there's an awesome beach. Side of the island. Now we're heading off to the Baracho Buro, drunk ass over right across the street. Alright, and here we are. Alright, coming up to El Baracho Buro Cantina. Very cool. Chaburo. Now we're on our way to our next spot to grab some ceviche. La Casa del Ceviche. Gracias. It's nice. Oh, it's so nice, love. Last stop for the evening, a Caribbean garden for some drinks. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching my video for the last day and a half here on Isla Mujeres. I'm gonna end this video now. Next video actually we're gonna see much more Drunk, much more swimming, much more beach, and of course, much more good restaurants and bar. So, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.